Hey guys, this is Jeff from Rick Robotics, and today I'm really excited because I get to do a product review that I've been so looking forward to doing for the last couple months. Today I'm going to be talking about circuit boards from the company JLC PCB. I'm going to be talking about my experience with the software, with the company in general, and what I think about the circuit boards that I just received. Let's get started. So whenever I do a product review, I always like to acknowledge the packaging for two reasons. One, because it is obviously the first thing that you see, whether you buy it from a store, from eBay, Amazon, or wherever you get it. It's always your first impression of the product. And two, because somebody somewhere along the line put a lot of work into this. And I suppose that if I were a packaging engineer, I would like that at least recognition and acknowledgement that I was doing my job well or not. So... That being said, this is the original packaging here, and this came from China, of course, and we have a whole bunch of Chinese writing. I do not understand Chinese, so we'll just assume that says something nifty about the company. The first one here, we have a bunch of, looks like a combination of shrink wrapping and bubble wrapping, some kind of uh, vacuum sealing, and that is the first set of boards. The other one is just in a plastic bag. So we'll go ahead and cut these open. There's one set. Here's my other set. So as you can see, I've ordered two different types of boards. And I think that this is going to work very well for this review because they are two totally different shapes. The first one is just a standard rectangle. Uh, it's probably about 15 by 50 or something like that. And then the second one, I thought I would throw this at them because not only did I need the design, but because it has a lot of awkward um, shapes in it. So you can see if I sit it down like this, according to that, it's not even a straight cut uh, as far as it's not a level a level cut right there so this has a couple of strange little angles here and including a curve and I needed that specifically to fit into something round that I'm going to be testing this with and it looks like they got that just spot on one thing I really like is that with the silk screen you can print just about everything you want to on there. So on this one, if we get this just right here, you can see I've got my company name on there, the the name of the board and the revision number, all that good stuff you're going to want to know, and all of the placement for all of the different components and such. And you can choose to add this, delete it, do whatever you want to. On the back here, it has my company website, rickrobotics.com. You should check it out. So these are two layer boards, meaning that it has circuitry on the front and on the back. It also has silk screening on both the front and the back layers as well. I wanted it to fit this circular pattern around this particular piece. And here we have our board and we're just going to put it on that and it actually looks like it fits the curve really well. Um, the only thing I will note is that this hole seems slightly misaligned but honestly I think that was my fault because I mismeasured when I designed this part but I do believe these are very accurate. These two pieces should fit on here and wiring will go between the two and that will be our power supply. To give you a better understanding of what I was actually going for with the design of these boards, I thought I would do a quick concept review. To begin with, I actually took an additional step which is certainly not necessary in order to create your own circuit boards. I'm modeling 
these boards in SolidWorks where I normally do all of my 3D design and I'm doing this as part of my Genesis robotic project and you can check that out in the description below. This is a project for the power supply and I wanted to make sure that I had a good idea of what the boards would look like in CAD first so I had some design parameters as far as how big they needed to be. As you can see I have a layout planned for the bigger of the two boards which is the main pass-through board. The second board is merely a power breakout board and that has a very simple design that pretty much just draws the power wires in and spreads them out throughout the rest of the system. After I got done modeling them in SolidWorks, I went ahead and took the board dimensions and noted them so that I can have an appropriate size when I start drawing out the boards in the Easy EDA software provided by JLC PCB. Now we'll get into the actual Easy EDA schematic design platform here. And this is a free tool that is located online and I will leave a link to that in the description below. And this is actually a very easy program to use and it's also very powerful in the utilities that it has. So it has a very large library of parts that you can use and those are all readily available. It's more or less open source. I'm not sure if you would really call it completely open source but it has user contributed libraries which you are free to use and contribute to as well. So these libraries have everything from single pin components to large microprocessors that you're welcome to incorporate into your schematic. Once you're done selecting all of the components, you simply lay them out onto your canvas and connect them all with either wires or with some of the pin labels which you see here. And the unique thing about these pin labels is that they clean up your schematic quite well by simply using that label to connect to any other label on the platform as long as it's named the exact same thing. Once you're satisfied that all of your components are there and all wired up correctly, you can move on to your board design. To convert the schematic to an actual PCB, all you need to do is go up to the little icon and convert it to PCB. If you already have a PCB in progress, you can just update it. And once that happens, you have a simple board layout, and it's typically just a square that you can manipulate the shape. If you're unsatisfied with that shape or needed something, say, circular, you can completely delete the shape and redraw your own. And of course, you have all of your components laid out at the bottom. They're already pre-wired for you, so all you need to do is move them around and place them in whatever positions you like. Once you're satisfied with where they're placed on the board, you can either wire them up yourself with the wiring tool, or you can use the auto router function, which is also quite handy, especially when you have dozens, if not hundreds, of wiring connections that you need to uh, account for. And then you're ready to take a quick look at your board and go to the ordering system. Once you get to the JLC PCB website, you see a few customizing options you can get for your boards. And it does boast that your boards are only $2 for a set of 10. And you can choose a custom PCB color. You can choose the quality, the surface finish, copper weight, all of those things. Now, certain items do raise the price slightly. The green boards are the cheapest boards. If you select a different color, they are uh, progressively more expensive, but still certainly not unreasonable. 
you can go up to at least six layers and I'm not sure if the company has the capability to do more than a six layer board but I'm sure you can contact them and see if you can do a custom extra layer if that is necessary for your designs. So once we have the boards in here and ready to order you can go ahead and save them to your cart and it gives you a grand total of what you will be looking at for a price. Once your order is placed you'll receive a confirmation email that specifies the details of your order. In my case I actually received an email similar to this that states that there was a small discrepancy and asking if I had a couple holes in my board that needed to be drilled out during manufacturing. So I went ahead and replied and stated yes go ahead and cut out those holes and they promptly replied back stating all right we'll cut the holes for you and within about three more days I received my boards. All right let's go ahead and get these things assembled and tested. All right, here we are at my test bench and I've got everything assembled here. These are our two boards. So here's how this thing works. Uh, there is a lab bench power supply coming into here and then my 12 volt supply will come into here and that runs through here into a five volt regulator and this switch will be able to transfer between the two power supplies. So hopefully we will see that work here. Let's go ahead and turn it on and make sure it works. So simply by plugging it in should give me a light. There we go. And we have 11.9 volts. And if I turn that off and do the other one, and that is at 5 volts, so that's great. I'll use my multimeter here that is sent on continuity check. Should be able to hear that. And we'll just give a couple of these connections a test. There we go. That one doesn't seem to be connected. Interesting. So that seems to be working all right. I will be checking over the schematic just to make sure that I didn't leave one of those unconnected and I can get back to you on that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the overall review. First impressions, I thought these boards looked really good. I am impressed with the quality of these boards. They look just fantastic and the dimensions seem to be just right. Obviously all of the circuitry is, is right there. They tested really well and you know, they're, they're obviously very functional. So I'm very pleased with that. I was really happy with the way they turned out. I think that the price is just spot on. It's, it's a very great value, especially if you're just starting out, just trying to test your design ideas, or even if you maybe want to do, you know, uh, several of these or make revisions. The, the price really can't be beat. I can't think of a, you know, a, a better price unless they're just going to give them to you. They obviously do take a little bit of shipping, but hey, that's okay. They come from China, so you know how much are you going to pay to send something to China, right? I'm also very happy with the company's communication with me. So 
they sent me the email and you know let me know obviously my order is on its way but when they had a question about a uh, particular design in the board they asked me if I needed holes in it or not and you know I thought that I had put those in there and maybe I misunderstood the software or something like that but they offered me that correction and got right on it and it really didn't even change the shipping time it maybe added another day to it so um, I was very impressed that they took care of that really well so would I recommend these boards or using this particular development software to make your own circuit boards yes I definitely would because like I said the, the price is right it's very intuitive and easy to use software and there are several tutorials online in fact if you would like me to do a tutorial on uh, the JLC PCB boards and the easy EDA software let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to do a tutorial and post it on this channel here but like I said, it's easy to understand and figure out. Everything is all combined into one package, which is very useful. In some packages, you need to create three or four different files, such as a drilling file and a shape for the board and then your circuitry and all of that stuff. Perhaps even you have to do a layer by layer file as well. Anyway, this is all included in one package, so I really enjoy the functionality and the feature set that it has. If you're a developer or if you're interested in starting your own electronics, then by all means, give it a shot and let them know that Jeff from Rick Robotics sent you. All right, guys, well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comments. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, please click that subscribe button. Let me know that you support me. We'll see you next time.